Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is for Chapter 4.3, Establishing Causation. But before we begin, let's review two words that we've talked about previously. First one is extrapolation. Remember, this is predicting outside the range of values given by your uh, least squares regression line. And again, such predictions are often not accurate. Another example, if we use data from the 70s and 80s to make predictions about things in the 2000s or 2010s, okay, it's probably not going to be accurate. The other word that I'd like to review real quick is the lurking variables. We talked about this when we were doing the scatter plots. Again, a lurking variable is a variable that is not among the explanatory or response variables in a study, and yet it may influence the interpretation of relationships among those variables. For example, the price of the house, the example that we used, is directly related to the size of the house, the square footage. However, there are other variables that affect the price, such as location, age, etc. All right, now, chapter 4.3, establishing causation, is there's really no math involved here. It's vocabulary. And I will expect you to read the section in more detail. All right, so I'm just going to go over the main parts, and then you should spend class time reading through 4.3. All right, causation, okay, cause and effect. We have our explanatory variable x and our response variable y. So the explanatory variable directly affects the response variable y. Example, the number of years of education a worker has, which is X, and the worker's income. There is a very positive linear association with the amount of education and the amount of income. Now, the best way to establish causation, however, is with an experiment. That is the best way to establish causation. However, we're not quite there yet. That will be chapter five, all right? So that's causation. What else is there? Well, there's a common response. That's when the explanatory variable X and the response variable Y are both affected by a lurking variable Z. So it's kind of getting mixed up. Okay, we don't know if it's affecting, if, if Z is affecting the X and the Y, or it's, it looks like there's going to be a relationship between X and Y. However, there's an outside factor, that lurking variable. Okay, for example, there is a positive correlation for the number of people on the beach and the number of people who buy ice cream. But the lurking variable, which is the weather, causes both to go up. Just because people are on the beach does not mean they're going to buy ice cream. All right? There is, there looks like there's a, a positive association there, but it's the weather. As the weather gets warmer, there's more people on the beach, and there's more people buying ice cream. All right, so that's common response. Confounding. This is like confusing, all mixed up. All right, two variables are confounded when their effects on a response variable cannot be distinguished from each other. The confounding variables may be either explanatory variables or the lurking variables, all right? So we don't know. Example, many studies have found that people who are active in their religion live longer than non-religious people. But people who attend church or mosque or synagogue also take better care of themselves than non-attenders. Interesting. They are less likely, they are less likely to smoke more likely to exercise, and less likely to be overweight. The effects of these good habits are confounded with the direct effects of attending religious services. All right? So 
This is the live longer is the response. Now, they're saying that if you are religious, you're going to live longer. Well, there's other things that can cause that because those people, again, are most likely, okay, less likely to smoke, so not smoke. Exercise more, etc. So we don't know what it is, okay? It's kind of mixed up. And that was it for the three words, that we, the new words that we're talking about. Again, you need to read the rest of chapter 4.3. Make sure you especially read the summary and work on the assignment. That's it for chapter 4.3.